The stairs were what started this whole renovation project. The stairs were a little bit uncomfortable to walk down. The children were falling down. There used to be a second story here, so the space for the stairs was compressed a little bit, so the steps were narrow. We removed the second story so that we could create an open two-story space. We completely demolished the stairs and built them completely brand new. And we created a new lighting atmosphere, and when we finished the stairs, we created a round wall that would give us the ability for a gallery of pictures. The master bedroom originally had green carpet, it had outdated furniture, and it had very poor lighting. It was just laid out very traditionally, there was no features or anything about it. The new master bedroom got expanded the space. We added a fireplace with a little bit of a sitting area. We created the built-in bookspaces and we created a lighting effect which had a little bit of the options for dimming and creating more of a ambiance. The outdoor space was fenced in. Most of the area was separated and this part of the porch was short. It was much shorter in the back and all of the back of the house was at one point one level. The surrounding area of the pool was made out of stamp and stained concrete, which gave a little bit of a hard structured feel. We removed the fencing because the children were already older. The porch used to be shorter, they wanted to extend it so they could have a sitting area. So when we did an extension in the master bedroom above, we extended the porch area. We brought in the wood deck from the pool and continued it so we can have one continuous space. They wanted to have a built-in grill. They used to have a freestanding one. They wanted it to be part of the house, so we added it, with the same brick and the same look that we had given most of the exterior additions of the house. This was a part of the home that used to be a white picket fence, open space, and it was connecting the main house to a little cottage guest house. We removed the small little picket fence that we had there, and we decided to add the walls and the brick to match the rest of the house so it would look like one continuous space. The finished product is a game room with a TV enclosed area for the children that they can use so that they're a little bit away from the main house and they can have their own space. It's got wood floors, it's got painted beams on the inside, it's got a vaulted ceiling. We designed it as a TV playroom area so it's got built-ins for the television. The kitchen was very closed and had no light. Uh, they had no space for catering, inviting people. The cabinets were short and the cabinetry itself needed to be replaced. We completely demolished the separating wall and the space. We opened up to the living room. We completely redid the cabinetry. We chose new countertops, absolutely new appliances. We created a butler's pantry and we created a small secondary kitchen for catering events and for helpful use from the back of the house entry.